Welcome to Second Tech, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. With the initial election results pointing to a coalition government at the national level, what could this mean for the reforms underway in electricity and freight logistics? Terence Creamer joins me to discuss the scenarios. Hi Terence. Hi Sino. What are some of the potential coalition scenarios facing South Africa? Well, it's a very uncertain time and it's unprecedented for South Africa in the democratic era. And uh, the coalition scenarios are, I think, um, really, because the ANC's dipped so far below, that's sort of 45% uh, as the results trickle in. Uh, it seems that it has to be a big party coalition. It can't be one of the smaller parties cobbling together a number of smaller parties. It's not going to be enough for the ANC to get across the line. So therefore, the, the obvious ones, you know, um, there's the EFF, which would probably get the ANC across the line, maybe with the Patriotic Alliance. Um, there's the MK that are arts coming immediately out of the ANC with a very recent history. Of course, the EFF did as well. That would also get, uh, on the current numbers, that would get the ANC across the line. And then there's the, the other coalition that could arise with the Democratic Alliance. So those are the sort of coalition scenarios. I think uh, much will depend about the strength of uh, Sir Ramaphosa as president, still given these election results, and you know whether he'll be able and you know he, whether he's the counterparty here, or whether there's a new ANC leader that emerges because of these poor this poor showing. But there is also an option, also depending on the strength of the president, of some sort of government of national unity approach. We're coming out of a, a very torrid time, you know, state capture era. Uh, as well as COVID, which have really knocked South Africa. So we've never really recovered from the global economic crisis of uh, 2009 because we scored so many own goals during the state capture years. And then as we were trying to, I suppose, reinvent ourselves uh, after that, we entered into that really uh, treacherous period of the COVID lockdowns, which knocked us back massively. And then we obviously it intensified it, the freight logistics crisis the crime around the network and the load shedding, which really has got us here. But so there is a possible case for a government of national unity, and that would be, you know, anyone who gets a certain percentage uh, of the vote gets a seat around the table, and whether that where that threshold is, two percent, three percent, or whatever, uh, it would be those parties and that uh, compact in that way. But that's a sort of an outlier chance. But we're in coalition territory. And there's a number of scenarios, and it's going to be a, a few, I think, not days, but possibly a couple of weeks. Uh, constitutionally, there's two weeks uh, that they've got, uh, they've, they've, they're allowed to do this. And it may take all that period, hopefully it won't, but uh, to get some sort of resolution on what this, the new governance arrangements are going to be. What could these scenarios mean for the reforms underway in electricity and logistics? Well, I think under a government of national unity scenario, I think generally the trajectory would be to continue with the general reform agenda, including in those sectors. Same with uh, a DA-ANC type coalition. I think where it gets a bit more uncertain uh, is where it's an EFF or an MK type uh, arrangement. Uh, the default position of both the EFF and the MK would be anti the reforms that are taking place in um, in these sectors. But on the other hand, <laughs> you know, there's not much money in the fiscal purse and you don't really want to preside over a return to, so for instance, load shedding if you're in government. So I think some sort of sense will possibly prevail around the reforms, but there will be sand in the gears, no doubt, if it's one of those, that's, if it's an outcome where it's an AMK ANC or an ANC EFF type coalition, there will definitely be a slowdown and a rethinking and some will be abandoned. But uh, you know, ultimately I think uh, a lot has been done um, in both the freight logistics and the electricity sector that needs to continue in some ways. Uh, and there's not many alternatives because the alternatives would require money from the state, which is we know the fiscal cupboards are just about bare and we have to sort of repair uh, the sort of the, 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 the national fiscus uh, while we continue with these reforms and leaning on the private sector or public-private partnerships 
does uh, allow for some of that repair. What are the likely investor reactions? Well, I think uh, a government of national unity type scenario would be treated, uh, would be welcomed, I think, by foreign investors and local domestic business. Obviously, it's uncertain, uh, but it would be more certain um, and uh, more stable. A DAANC coalition, I think, would also probably be welcomed by business, local business and investors. Obviously, these will be uncertain and unstable coalitions, but that's the nature of coalitions. That's why nobody really wants them. But, uh, you know, I think those two, uh, because the reforms would probably continue, uh, the trajectory of the country would be sort of business friendly, uh, investor friendly, uh, would be looking at really growing the economy. I think the, the other ones are much more uncertain, potentially much more unstable, and I don't think will be treated uh, or welcomed by the investor community, especially immediately. We've already seen what happened has happened to the RAND uh, immediately when it was it became clear it was going to be hard for the ANC to get across the line with a small party coalition, which I think was the favoured outcome of business. Uh, once that became clear, you, you saw there was a big sell-off of the banks and a, a sell-off of the RAND. And now we'll enter a period of a couple of or, or days or weeks where the, that uncertainty might be deepened. And I think we'll see that ebbing and flowing depending on what the, the, the news flow is. So if the news flow is government on national unity, um, uh, news flow around a DA, ANC Grand Alliance, uh, the, the, I think we'll see market reactions to that. And if we see that it's ebbing in the other way, then I think we'll see market reactions to that. Uh, I think we, we have to hope that there's enough leadership and maturity in our political establishment to get us through this period and to actually have some form of stability fairly soon. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.